Well, howdy. Uh, you might be asking yourself, what is this? Maybe you're not. Maybe you're just saying, well, this is dumb. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what it is. This is, uh, it's a frame from a 2206, JBL 2206. Let me back up a little bit. I put these in a couple of odd uh, JBL 4311s to test them, a 4311B and a 4311. This original woofer is a one as a uh, 2213 Alnico, and this one's a 2213H. So I have a customer on the East Coast that has a pair of JBL L100Ts and T3s, I believe. Anyway, he was putting the uh, T3 L100 T3 crossovers in. Uh, because they're voiced a little bit differently and they're a little smoother in the uh, mid-range and high end. And then he had the original 2214s. He's got two pair of them. Three of the four are bad. They were a, a bad recone. And uh, out of his frustration, he acquired these 2206s and he shipped them to me. And first he asked me, is there anything I can do to make these go lower in the in the crossover. Can I do anything to the crossover and make them go lower? And I said, no. They need to be reconed with a different uh, suspension, basically. So that's what I did. Uh, the 2206 has a moving mass of around, I don't know, 50 grams or so. So I, in, I increased the... Uh, Matter of fact, let's take a look. We'll take a look at the factory uh, spec sheet here for moving mass. Here it is. 2206, 2206H. Free air resonance is 52, so the moving mass is uh, 65 grams net. Uh, the 2214 has a free air resonance of 23 hertz. You can see right there, 23 hertz. Oops, 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 oops. 23 hertz. 23 hertz. And it has a moving mass of 97. And the motor's not quite as strong. Let's see, is that right? Oh, 90. 90 grams of moving mass. Sorry about that. So he said, can you make this into a woofer? I said, sure. Why not? Let's take it. We'll take the specs. Now, this is a 2206 vented gap cooling motor. So let's take the, we'll take the cue from a four inch voice coil woofer. which is a 2203, 16 hertz, free air resonance, moving mass of 100 grams. So what I've been doing, and maybe you've noticed from my other videos, I'm trying to make recone kits that are no rot versions. Uh, so you don't have to worry about foam surrounds rotting. Now that really comes from this 4311. It was also the the 2216 LE15A uh, or LE15B, I don't remember. It's kind of confusing. Uh, and I've also done a 2226. Uh, I'm sorry, 2235, which I call a 2236 that uses a 2226 cone. So we'll cut to the, cut to the chase here. He says, "Can you make the, these go lower?" And I said. Yes, let me work on that. So I worked on it. And here's a nice recording from uh, a very nice gentleman. And this is, it's just the 4311 crossover, which is as basic as you can get. Each one has a 8 microfarad high pass capacitor on the mid range here. And that's got a little dent in it. Does not affect sound, right? This one's an LE52. This one's an LE5. 
10 or 12, something like that. This is ceramic. This is El Nico. These are both LA 25s, which are ceramic magnets. LA 25 uh, 2. So let's see. Let's get a little sample of how it sounds low end wise. Now, these 4311s are tuned to about 45 hertz. You can actually get a, an idea of the low end even through my Galaxy camera here and the internet. It actually sounds pretty decent for traveling digitally through the atmosphere. Uh, here we go. So we don't get in copyright trouble here we'll see what happens but anyway um this is a solution also for the 2203 woofer that's in the 4315 studio monitor uh to have a no rot recount kit as long as the suspension is softened up and the right moving the right mass is added you can make a this is a super super woofer i mean this thing will not bottom out uh and it sensitive and it sounds pretty darn good just slapped into these 4311s i've been listening to them for a couple hours and uh i actually a beat them with a 2213 in this one not a whole lot of difference matter of fact they're, they're a bit cleaner because of the four inch voice coil and the 12 inch cone that has a bit of uh, less uh, cone area uh, and the 2213s have the aqua claws on them but uh yeah, uh, I will call this a 2207, and there are bunches of 2206s floating around, and then any of the older symmetrical field geometry woofers, like like uh, 2202 would be a prime candidate uh, for this upgrade, and even, even the E-series, E120s, could fit the bill as well, and there's tons of those out there, uh, which will make just a super woofer. The E120 motor is a little bit stronger, but add a little bit more mass and to lower the, uh, the free air resonance to it, and we got a really a smoking, smoking killer thing, a woofer that's not even breathing hard, and it will never rot because it's got a cloth surround. So. There's that. All right. Well, thank you for listening. If you uh, like my videos, like and subscribe, and I'll keep them coming. Thanks.